In an earlier video, I talked about how to set up a class in Think Central so that your class has students assigned to it and resources available um, in that class for students to access either in the computer lab or at home or from your classroom computer. That video you can go back and take a look at. This video I want to talk about something different and that is assigning assignments to the students and uh, in the same time assigning assignments to particular groups that are created. So let's take a look at, first of all, I've made groups. So by going to classes and students and then go to manage groups, I've already made one group which I called RTI1 and uh, these are the students that I consider in my class on level and I want to make another group which I'm going to call RTI2. And so I can simply do that by just going up to the toolbar up here and choosing add. In here I need to select which class my students are going to be in. Now I have two classes, you may only have one, um, you may have many, but this is the class that I'm picking from and these are my students. And I'm going to give it a name, now you can give it any name you want, I'm choosing RTI2 and this is for math class. And this group is, um, is in, in need of intervention. So this group is going to get some more targeted uh, activities in the computer lab uh, or at home when I assign them. Now these are all fake students, so I'm assigning them from, to all of these kids right here, this list. And so now you remember from the previous video, if you hold the control key down, you can select the ones that you need uh, as you click through. But for me, I'm just gonna take this one and all the way down to there. So these are the students that are gonna be in that group. I click Save. And now I have essentially two groups. I can make more if I'd like. Um, I could go back to these groups and, and, and click them and edit and say, okay, well, this student is a, a progressing um, in a different path, so I'm gonna move them into a different group and I can always manage those by clicking the group manage button. So that's in essence setting up groups. Now let's take a look at assignments and giving a student an assignment using Think Central. So when I click assignment, uh, the tab up here, I'm gonna head over to other assignment. Now, actually, before I assign assignment, I need to figure out which assignment is on level and which assignment is an intervention for the particular unit that I'm teaching. So I need to kind of zip over to the teacher's edition. And this particular, uh, this is the teacher's edition uh, for unit four, lesson six for grade five. And I find the page that, uh, that deals with um, RTI and it, what it does is it can show you at the bottom which software pieces are available for the different levels. So I am going to do an assignment for uh, the on-level tier for the students for this particular unit and that is going to be in Mega Math and it's going to be the number games Tiny's Think Tank Level R and that's, that's something you have to kind of remember when you are doing this, I would recommend writing it down, which I'm doing right now, which is Tiny's Think Tank Level R, uh, so that we can search for that afterwards because there's a lot of resources. So we gotta remember what we're searching for. So back to the Add Assignments tab, I'm gonna call this uh, Think Tank because that is the assignment. And it comes with these default student instructions, which are do. Uh, I always like to kind of change it to try, just to be nice. And then I'm going to look for a select a resource, and we're looking for a searchable resource. So we choose that, and then we click go. And uh, if you remember from the teacher's edition, we are looking for a mega math. We're looking for mega math. Now, there's a lot of options here. You can go off book. You can go into the other student activity books. Um, you have a lot of resources to assign different things in different directions. I'm going to Mega Math, and if you recall, the Mega Math one that I'm looking for is Tiny's Think Tank Level R. So that's what we're going to look for in our in our list. So Mega Math Find. And for me, this is a criticism I have of Think, Think Central because when you search for Mega Math, you are going to get every single thing they have. It is a huge list. And I wish Think Central had a search box here, but never fear, all browsers, all Internet, you know, Explorer, Chrome, those kinds of things, if you press Control F, 
you will get a little find box somewhere on the browser, control F, and that will allow you to search for what you were looking for. And I remember it was Tiny's Think Tank, comma, and you can see we were looking for level R. So I'm just doing tank level R, and that kind of narrows it down and finds any text on the page. Control F does find and finds any text on the page. And then this is the one, the numbers game, Tiny's Think Tank multi uh, Multiplying Decimals. So if I check that, now I can th I can click on that and see a preview to make sure if that's the one I want. I, I know that's the one I want. I click Assign. And now this assignment is loaded up for the students that I want to assign it to. So I could assign it to the entire class. Or I, I could then from that point refine that search. Instead of just going the entire class, I could choose a particular group. Now remember, earlier I made two different groups. RTI 1 is on level. This assignment, according to the teacher's edition, is on level. So I'm going to assign that. And these are the students in my on-level group. And so I'm going to do an add all. Now, I could pick just one student here. Let's say I had a student that was out for a while or behind or something like that. And I could just pick one student and add them. But in this case, I'm going to do add all. Uh, you do have to select a subject. Uh, it, if you're only using math materials, for example, you still have to select a subject or it will not work. It'll just kind of squeal at you uh, that you didn't do something right. So you always have to select the subject. And then down here, you want to do due dates and things like that. How long you're going to make this assignment available. You can click, the can you can click a calendar button and uh, it will adjust that. And then you're finished. You can preview it if you like. You click save. And you are about to create a new assignment. Do you want to do this? Yes, I do. And here it will be listed. So I've already created a, a quiz earlier. Um, and now I have a think tank assignment that's in here. I can edit it. I can copy it if I want to make a few adjustments to it. Um, I can view the progress as to see who has said that they are done looking at it and those kinds of things. And now that assignment is assigned. So let me go take a look at what that looks like from a student's perspective. So if I click on things to do for Beverly, you can see there is that assignment now. Think Tank has been assigned for her. If she clicks on that, that'll take her to an, another window that gives her some information about the due dates and et cetera. And then from here, that will launch the activity for her to get started. And there is uh, sound in this particular one, so they're gonna have to use headphones and et cetera. Um, we're gonna close out of that right now. And when she's all finished if in her in her things to do, if she finished this, that one, she just clicks done. And that will indicate to the teacher that it's been completed by the student. Um, another student, Zach, however, Zach is not in the same group. So when Zach clicks things to do, uh, there isn't any assignment listed there yet because we didn't assign it for that student. For my other students, I know that there's some intervention that I would like to address. So I go back to the teacher's edition for the unit that I'm looking at, and I find um, what the tier two recommendations are for from the textbook. And you can, you know, you can make your adjustments as to however you want to do this. Uh, in this case, I'm looking for compared decimals through. Uh, hundredths, and that's the activity that I want to assign to my to my other group of students. So I've kind of set that up already. Uh, it's it's been assigned. I went through the similar steps as before, using Control Find and finding it in the list. This is my RTI two group. I add all of them again. I do the same things. I'm I, I assign it now. This is using Sort Success, so it's a little bit of a different system. So you'll see that like assignment name and those kinds of things. Um, due dates, those are done in a different system and it's kind of taken over. So you don't really have any choices there. You click save and again, make sure you, are you sure to save? And now that assignment's going to be assigned in Sort of Success. And this opens up a different panel. And what Sort of Success does is it actually allows you to kind of track the progress a little with a little more detail. As in, like you can see, um, you know, what their percentage of mastery is and, and things like that. And so you kind of need to have students take these uh, assessments or do the activities before you can get a real feel for it. But I follow the same steps with the assignment otherwise, and when I go to assignments and back to manage assignments, 
it won't be listed here because it's a sort of success assignment. So in order to see that, I would have to click this link and go through that process and observe it in there. But if we go and take a look at Zach, Zach was our student who didn't have any assignments. I now assigned it. So if I click things to do, he now has a sort of success assignment for him when he goes into the computer lab while Beverly is still queued up with her think tank assignment. Um, that's separated by two different groups. So this is a, a way to take a look at um, assigning assignments to students in Think Central and allowing that to be done in a way that you can address some intervention needs by creating multiple groups. Thanks for listening.